Good afternoon. My name is Fran Falk Ross. I am a professor in the School of Education at Pace University in New York in the United States. With my colleagues, we completed a, an assignment in our classes on urban street art, which is very consistent with the theme of this learner conference, which is international intercultural learning in plurilingual contexts. And we feel this is consistent with that. Um, uh, the theoretical framework that supported our work was that graffiti is used in and out of classrooms to document or interpret an historical event. In the world beyond the school, pupils are also surrounded by variational use of language, uh, written language, and especially public displays such as posters, graffiti, and so on, which link language to place. Street art often represent claims to power and identity by underrepresented groups who feel their voices are not heard. This is especially important right now in many countries, as well as in New York City. It represents the desire of humans to leave traces of their existence in the public sphere. And as a vernacular art form, street art deals with activism, uh, reclamation, and subversion, and allows artists a platform to reach a broader audience than traditional art forms. Street art can serve to engage students in critical dialogue about art and visual culture while they collectively explore the issues it raises. Um, our objectives are, are to share our alignment with the, le the learning standards that uh, most universities in the United States are tied to, the Common Core, and to provide you with some elements of street art and some examples and, and why this is important, the educational implications. In short, though, the English language um, um, English language arts standards make connections between self, text, and the world around us through text, media, and social interaction. And they recognize and describe how the author's background and culture affect his or her perspective. These are important for the student teachers to use. They recognize and make connections in narrative, poetry, and drama to other texts and ideas in cultural perspectives and personal events. These are the new literacies. In art, they respond to and analyze their works of art and understand the cultural dimensions of and contributions of the arts. These are the standards that the teachers need to meet. Um, this took place in the Kubamas after school program, which services K through five students in lower Manhattan community, which is extremely diverse. And we have a partnership with them. We ask them to first share their ideas and so they can share what it feels like to bring their own funds of knowledge out and to understand who they are and what they believe. There is a documentary that you might be able to share, uh, look through at this link about our, uh, the important art and tile works uh, that um, appear in the New York City subways. It's really something to see. These are examples of the street art, and these are more about the protests and the um, uh, comments that artists are sharing all through the United States. And, uh, but these are specifically in New York City, and these are excellent. These are examples of street art in terms of more of the art forms that are important and show um, different textures and perspectives and cultural backgrounds of the um, artists that, that organize them. This is a digital storytelling. Uh, we had them present, each of the, st the student teachers present um, a summary of the different groupings that they, of artwork and um, a street art that they found. And um, that way they could share it with one another and it helped them to understand it. The presentation was a, a way for them to um, organize the information in their heads. The educational implications of this were very important. Student teachers learned about the art and the images in their own city, around their own schools. And the student teachers learned about the protests and the meaning that those art forms represented. Summaries of the experience included edited presentations to share with the other teachers to disseminate the history of New York's experiences. 
There is a new awareness of the intercultural and pluralistic context of learning and literacy that mediates learning in New York City and other urban areas. And the student teachers transferred their new knowledge of critical learning and cultural responsiveness to students through their classroom lessons. You are welcome to look up our review of literature, re of research, so that you can maybe access some of this information yourself. Thank you very much for your attention.